The bells are ringing in the Christmas season. At the largest mall in Canada, these bells also remind shoppers to give back. Salvation Army kettles are out in full swing, asking people to put aside some of their Christmas budget for those in need. You see all kinds. You see the person who can come and put a $20 bill in or even a $50. Um, and then we see the young people who come, and I've seen them literally empty their pockets and turn the lining inside out to get their last little bit of change to put in. Canadians are in a giving mood in 2012. According to a new report from Bank of Montreal, Canadians are giving 10% more to charity than last year. 79% of Canadians gave to charity in the last 12 months. Ontario led the country for the most individuals who gave, followed by the Prairie Provinces. We did look at Salvation Army donations about a year ago and the trend would seem to show the same statistics. One of the things we noticed is that in Alberta in particular, there's not as many donations, but they're higher average donation. Canadians donated an average of $557 to their favorite causes. That's up from $487 the previous year. We went to the streets to find out why. As we sort of get older in our life and, and, and things are more settled in our financial needs, we find that we give more than we have in the past. So I know we, we do have a lot of charities that we give to now, sort of as a, as a habit more than anything else, and knowing that it's better to uh, give to those who are needy. It's my community, you know, and uh, it's just we, we see these people and we know they are in need and uh, uh, we can afford to give, so that's what we do. I'm going to say it. I usually don't give to charity just because I live paycheck to paycheck. Um, it's one of those things I don't usually have all that much money to to give back to the community. So it's usually one of those things I do goods. I give away old clothes that either don't fit or I haven't worn in like several hundred years. So I'm usually a, a goods person. Maybe we're reminded more of, with, with all the media, maybe we're reminded more of people in need. I don't know. Yeah, we, we're world problems and catastrophes are in our face all the time. <laughs> Some Canadians are more charitable because it's easier than ever to get with today's technology. You can go online, you can use a QR code, or you can even text in to donate. For example, I just gave $5 to the Salvation Army with just a few clicks of a button. For a lot of years now, we're not carrying cash on us. So uh, we've been able to implement text to donate. So people can text the word hope 2001 to 45678 and it's an automatic five dollar donation you know technology is one of those things that is is so important in our day-to-day -day living for a lot of people right now that maybe it's just that convenience they don't have to go down and give you know fill out a donation slip they can just do it all online from the convenience of their home for whatever reason Canadians choose to give their efforts are appreciated because while donations are up so are the needs of charities Anywhere across the country, need for Salvation Army services is up 20 to 30 percent. So people in our country are still really struggling with finding the basic necessities. The report also listed the types of causes Canadians give to the most. In first is health and medical, followed by anti-poverty, animal welfare and education. The report also cited religious groups make up a large portion of Canadians' charitable giving. That doesn't surprise Pastor Aaron Pollock. You look at historically throughout history, and it has been religious groups that have really helped a lot when there's needs, with welfare, with things, um, when there are disasters that take place. It's been the religious groups that have stepped in to do that. And so I think people even have that in their minds when they give, saying, I'm giving to this religious organization, and that really is going to help. There's still even the element of trust where people say, I trust this religious organization with my money, whereas in some of the other organizations out there, they may still struggle a little bit with that. Pastor Aaron says it is positive news Canadians are giving more to charity. However, he hasn't seen an increase in the number of people tithing. In our church, as a pastor, I don't know what our people give, and I like it that way, but our treasurer has told us that it's a relatively small amount of the people in the congregation to actually support the majority of the work. It just makes you wonder what could be done if more people gave more. That's why Pastor Aaron is careful to explain that there are two types of giving for any Christian. One of the principles of uh, biblical giving is that the, the theme of the church runs throughout the entire New Testament. And so 
for someone to say, I'm not going to give to my church, I'm going to give my tithe or my gift to another organization, goes directly against the theme throughout the entire New Testament. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't give to these other organizations, but there are many people who say, oh, I don't trust my money with the church. Well, then you need to find a different church. <laughs> Because um, if you can't trust your church with your money, what, why are you trusting them with more important spiritual matters in your life? Uh, what I encourage people to do is look first and foremost where you can give in your church. And then after that, if there is a certain area that is interesting to you, you can put a little time, a little money, a little effort into that area. But I think a lot of people get sidetracked. Whether you are giving to the church or a charitable organization, Pastor Aaron says it's your attitude that counts. So many people come and say, well, how much do I have to give? It's sort of like saying, how much do I have to give for my wife? Or how much do I have to give for my kids? And the point is, is if you love your wife, if you love your kids, you're not going to say how much, what's the limit? You're going to say, how much can I give? Some people may only be able to give 5%, but if their attitude is right, that's really crucial. We might happily give a little more during the Christmas season. Those at the Salvation Army believe Canadians have the right attitude all year long, whether they are giving less or giving more. As good, kind-hearted Canadians, we don't want to see anybody in need and struggling. Uh, you know, that tugs at all of our heartstrings, and so then people, they want to give and they want to help their communities. And that makes us all better people in a better country. For 100 Huntley Street in Edmonton, I'm Megan Kelly.